so in this video we'll see how we can test the azure function in azure portal so first of all let's start creating a new azure function which uh, accepts some of the parameters so let's open the vs code visual studio code and uh, let's create a new function for creating a new function just click on the new function give the name of the function Let's give a uh, get uh, table uh, data and uh, let it be anonymous function. So now that we have created a uh, Azure function, uh, so we'll just modify according to our requirement. So we will just uh, accept one of the parameter from the request. So we'll accept it from uh, request body. We'll uh, get the table ID from the request body. If it is uh, not there we will just add a ternary operator i'm expecting uh, it to be a number so if it is uh, uh, if we are not getting anything from the table id we will just uh, we use it as a hundred so we will just uh, modify the body and uh, response body now so we will pa we will just create an uh, object with uh, params we will send back the params and also the response message this gives us a response message as success and now let's uh, deploy the function which we have created so let's select the function app deploy let's log in into the azure uh, portal let's select the function app let's go to the function let's wait for some time so that uh, the new Azure function gets deployed into Azure portal. It hardly takes uh, some 10 to 20 seconds depending upon the internet speed. It looks like now the function got deployed. Let's uh, check. So we are in the wrong function wrong Azure function get users data we need to come back and select the right uh, Azure function so let's go to the function app functions and uh, select get table data in the code plus test we can test the Azure function here itself just click on the test and run test or run so we have to pass a request body we will grab that uh, table id and pass it as 1 so it should be enclosed uh, with uh, double quote not a single quote it is not accepting single quote now let's try to run so when we pass we should be getting back 1 so we are getting that let's uh, remove that uh, request.body and try to run we should be getting 100 now params 100 and response messages success so this way we can test azure function in the azure portal thanks for watching